Today you can just watch me work, watch me nay nay. The model was actually fixed, but not of the not a lot of them were organized properly in layers or tags. Geographic is under level one, okay. And level two is the side, level three are the floors. So I have to put it under the layer like site element or maybe property. So I don't have to see them. I would like to see this one maybe if I would name it like ground floor plan or site with ground floor plan. But I can already see that here during site development plan. So it depends really until what level of detail are you willing to go to. So in this case, I would like to save this view as this view for site development plan. And this one will just be the floor plan. The floor meaning to say the first floor, not including the site development or the things developed outside the building, but still part of the site. And then wait for it to update here. So we could either wait for the SketchUp model to save and then right click this one. Sometimes it automatically updates, but if not, just right click and update model reference. This is going to update whatever was saved in your SketchUp model. So like this. Now I could choose to get some labels in this scene. In this case, this is called BBO scene one, but even without the plugin, if you would like to use, you know, other tools, just to label these things. There's no problem. You can just enable it. We did not see the site context because we are focused on the first floor and second floor. However, I see my titles are duplicated. It says dining, dining, kitchen, kitchen. So these are components, component definition and instances that so on. It's a bit tricky. So for example, I go to my floor. These are all floor slabs. I could see the name is dining. And then the instance is dining. So maybe I change the definition to like 60 by 60, just to denote the size of the tile. And using the 5D plus, I will see if it works properly. Zone label. There, dining, 60, 60. Forge, maybe 40 by 40. Lanai, 40, 40. Mm, that's a problem because it's a component definition. It has to be unique. In this case, Lanai, Porch, Dining, Kitchen, they're all unique. But the problem is if I place those names under definition, it's going to go here. It's going to be smaller than this one. Hmm. In that case, what if I just don't put the size of the finish and I just choose cell number one? Okay, there. It just shows the name and then the floor area. I guess that's good enough. As for these elevation tags, actually, if you go up, it changes according to its distance from the origin of the world. Wow, the origin of the world or the model. That's what I'm guessing. Because if you actually go to this one, this ones are base as well from zero elevation, which is where the axis of the SketchUp model is. Save again. And wait for its update in the layout. Right now I'm getting sleepy, so I think I will play some games for a while. See you next episode if there is any.